Hi, welcome to Astrology for Gan Traders. For today's video, I'm going to be looking at planetary synodic cycles. That is, a synodic cycle is between two planets. It has a beginning and an end, and also harmonics within. And each pair will actually have different time cycles uh, related to it. I'm going to be concentrating on longer term cycles for this presentation because I've been lucky enough to get some historical data for wheat going back to 1259 from Bill Meridian and that means that I can actually analyze some of Gann's uh, wheat data that he has and I'll explain what I mean by that. If we look at, um, first of all, if we look at some synodic cycles of, of various lengths, you'll understand why Gann had um, specific cycles that he talks about with that giving you the planetary equivalent to it but behind these cycles are planetary cycles and also their synodic cycles so let's have a look the Jupiter Saturn synodic is 19.86 years that's almost 20 years Jupiter Uranus is 13.81 Jupiter Neptune is 12.78 Jupiter Pluto is 12.46 Saturn Uranus is 45.36, Saturn Neptune is 35.46, Saturn Pluto is 33.46, Uranus Neptune is 171.38 and Uranus Pluto is 127.48. Now these cycles, some of them will fit exactly in terms of harmonics within the larger cycle, so it's wheels within wheels. And you'll see that when I do the demonstration how that actually works out becomes very exciting. So let's have a look at the cycle. Um, basically this is Gann's wheat price chart which is from 1259 to 1851. So he actually went to the British Museum in London where he uh, recorded all the price from, you can see it on his chart, wheat price from 1259 to 1851 from England to early USA. So he's actually plotted all that data on this chart. And if you have a look, this is what makes it exciting for me being the astrologer, is that you can see the Jupiter conjunct Saturn. Um, and he records that every time they're conjunct. Now that they are conjunct every 20 years, or it's just under 20 years. Okay. Now every third time they do that, they come back to the same point in the zodiac, which I explain more in detail in my advanced course. That's his Master 20 Year Forecasting Cycle, which I um, explore thoroughly on the Dow Jones. And he had uh, WD had a composite chart which you can learn more about in my advanced course. But for now, I'm just going to go through this very quickly. Uh, if you have a look at the two, these two planets, which were used, they were known anciently as the chrono craters, which means chronos time, time keepers, and they were used, that, this cycle was used pretty much for anything social and economic um, because it has this regular pattern. And so let's have a look just quickly when I'm going to animate this really quickly. So they start together, they're conjunct here. This is in 1901 and I'm just going to animate this going through the different aspects. They, um, so Jupiter is obviously the faster moving in the pair. So it takes that makes a 45, then a 60, a 90 degrees, 120 degrees, 135, an opposition, 225, 240, 270, 300, 315 and then back together as a conjunction. Now when they do that three times they come back to the same point in the zodiac and so that's like a time clock coming back to the exact point so it's a very um, important cycle. So basically as I just said in those 60 years Saturn completes two revolutions and Jupiter com completes five revolutions. Now that's, that's their ratio two to five which is important in itself. Now what I want to do is I'm going to just go to my timing solution and I'm going to look at a wheat study now that I have the data thanking uh, Bill Meridian um, with timing solution software. So one tick and I'll be back. Okay so here I've loaded the uh, wheat data going back to 12.59 to current and I know this looks like a flat line but when I zoom in you'll see it looks more like this. Okay, so what I want to do, the first cycle I want to look at is the one that Gam was looking at, which is the Jupiter Saturn cycle. So basically, that, that's the pattern that it has 
on wheat over lots of period periods of or lots of cycles I should say and you can see it's actually 38 times the 19 almost 20 years that this composite is actually um, made up of the composite you can see so we have when we see these red bars that means in that point there uh, the cycles have a lot of synchronicity and more probability and also in these bands here so that is that the Jupiter Saturn cycle now because we have a lot of data I wanted to have a look at even um, longer cycles in the 20 year so I've going to put in the major cycles so the next one is the Jupiter Uranus cycle then we have Jupiter Neptune then we have Jupiter Uranus then we have Saturn Neptune and then we have Uranus Neptune so basically it's almost like a heartbeat now these planetary um, cycles according to the pattern that they have had in the past the software will make like a heartbeat and you'll notice that sometimes these heartbeats or these peaks um, come together at the same time and when you see that there's more probability of that occurring now coming in and basically if you think of the uh, concept of wheels within wheels as I said before you'll see how sometimes these cycles line up all together and that's when you get a real dominant peak or bottom as well the opposite being and so basically if you have a look amazingly at the time which was around I think it's uh, 1996 1996 all these cycles were peaking you can see in that point there so that that's telling you something I think that's amazing if you uh, have a, a look at what that might mean if you've already been analyzing where you'll understand why that is so important and then you can see other times when there are other peaks as well if there's three or you know sometimes there's more than three coming in at the same time like just let's let's um, zoom into here you can see yes there was a lot of them coming in highs and there was another high in there so this is so amazing I love it so much so um, anyway what I wanted to show you another thing using this sort of analysis is something called Easy Expert which was developed by Bill Meridian as well he did Bill developed the uh, efficiency test it was actually invented by him and also the Easy Expert so what you can do is you can basically the program will find the most dominant uh, cycles whatever you want to look for so because I'm interested in long-term cycles I've actually just said Jupiter out to the node the aspects that I want to, to look for and also uh, again Jupiter to the nodes and the orb I'm allowing is uh, 10 because they're such long-term cycles and also because my data is um, yearly um, we've got to let a lot of space in between the orb is very important so you add those to your list and then you say okay so basically it will go through all the cycles that um, you've put in there and it gives you so there are 105 possibilities and it's telling you that 53 of them are important so it's giving me the most important and what it then does it gives you an analysis of what they have done in the past and you can um, I can extend that you can go through all of them and it'll give you the statistics okay which is amazing but not only that it will actually draw the uh, lines the directions on your chart now I've put in events with effect more than 80% you want the lines to be thicker so if you have a look at the chart you'll see any of these darker uh, lines going up or down that's when it's 80% um, effect okay so you've got more probability of that actually having an impact so you can see at this time here we've got a few large arrows going up and you can see also inside these peaks in there so this is giving you um, that the probability of that being a peak so you can see um, along the bottom here how the easy expert works um, and also it again in this period when we did have that high a lot, big peak there well you can see it was already coming in so it seems to be the Uranus Neptune cycle is very important in that but they all culminate positively in that period 
which is amazing. So um, anyway, I, I think it's great to be able to have um, this way of analysing. Now I've used really large cycles in here because we have so much data. We can actually um, do, because it's a yearly data, obviously if you've got daily data you'll be using smaller time cycles and you, but you can still use the same principles in here. And if it's intraday, you could be using the moon and even the faster, you know, with the faster moving planets as well. So um, I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, and um, until next time, and the, the software I use is Timing Solution. I get a lot of people asking me about it. And um, thank you for listening.